You're not a vegan. No. So how do you feel about eating these animals whilst you know they're sentient and have their own experience? I am very aware. I am contributing to the mass killing of animals. Do you feel bad about that? or Because I know you wouldn't even be standing talking to me if you didn't have empathy and you didn't care. But I do realise what happens in farms. Yeah. And then, you know, it's, it's just evil. You still use these weak excuses. You could just say I'm too lazy or I don't care yeah. enough. They're probably honest excuses. So what are you going to do when you leave? How are you? It's a week off from, right? Yeah, mate. How are you? I do, I do recognize your YouTube channel, so I do watch it. Oh, you do? Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. not vegan? Well, I grew up vegetarian okay. because I'm a Hindu. Oh, you're Hindu? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. As I took over, I kind of had to kind of eat meat in a sense that, like, I grew up in an environment where meat was already ready of it available. I didn't have a lot of common sense and what on what I could eat and you know, yeah. it was just kind of quick food based. Same. Well bro I ate meat for 26 years. Yeah, yeah exactly so yeah I do like your work and oh you've got a stirring problem with it. So, that's so, fine. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, that's cool. But I do really So you watch my videos. What do you think about the message like how this happens to animals we should respect their rights by being vegan. What do you think about that? I think the biggest problem with understanding veganism is that people don't realize that animals are sentient beings. And just killing an animal is just like second nature. I'm going to kill it. They don't think that these animals have their own emotional touch yeah. like humans. So you know this, right? You're not a vegan. No. So how do you feel about eating these animals whilst you know they're sentient and have their own experience? Do you feel bad about that or are you okay with it? I am very aware that I am contributing to the mass killing of animals. Yeah. Like I'm very, very aware of that. I mean, it's been about a good year since I've had meat. At least half my diet is vegetarian anyway. Okay, at least half of the other half is... Yeah, yeah, it's like eggs and everything. Do you have paneer and things like this? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, you live here? Yeah, 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 mate. Okay, yeah, yeah. so you support the dairy industry here? I don't really support it, I just kind of have it for... Oh, yeah, I mean like, as in, you create the demand for the industry, you give you the, give them your in money. In that sense, yeah, yeah, I yeah, yeah. contribute to yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I mean, not yeah. like you support it like, yeah, yeah, go dairy. So how do you feel about that, causing what happens to egg laying hens and dairy cows through the supply and demand chain? I am very aware of, of what I contribute to in a sense that like, because I've seen like the videos where, where they put eggs on a machine. And they grind the, their babies up. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you know. They either do that in the UK here, they mainly do uh, gas chamber as well. Yeah, yeah. They gas yeah. the birds. My question to you is, if you know it and you're, you're very aware of it, how do you justify continuing that behavior? When you know you can, you know how to be vegan, yeah? Yeah, yeah. You know you can be yeah, vegan yeah, and you're yeah. Hindu as well. Yeah, yeah. Hinduism has ahimsa? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Non-violence. Yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah that's a philosophy. Yeah. Like, unfortunately, I'm not very intact with those values and those morals because like I work so much I just have whatever is in front of me and I just have I work it. too bro yeah I work too you can't use that on me I work exactly, yeah, yeah. sometimes working yeah. 16 hour days dude yeah. we're working right now yeah yeah I eat vegan every single day of my life have done for nearly 10 years yeah, yeah. no education I come from gangs and drug use I still managed to be vegan when I first got out of prison you can just say I'm too lazy or I don't care yeah. enough they're probably honest excuses the, the first option is I'm too lazy I'm too lazy yeah. so do you think being lazy justifies what happens to animals of course not because yeah. that's a bigger value Okay, let's weigh it up. So you're in a shop, there's eggs there, paneer there. You walk this far, you got tofu, mock meat, vegan chicken, you got soy milk, rice milk, oat milk, you got all these milks, so you gotta walk there. Yeah. When you're in a supermarket. When you're when you're going out for a restaurant, you just gotta go vegan options near me, you go Wagamama's vegan option, Subway vegan option, oh, yeah. you know, Burger King vegan option, you press in Happy Cow and you can find vegan restaurants all near you. Yeah. And nearly every Indian restaurant will have vegan options. Oh, yeah. How lazy could you possibly be? That slight inconvenience of looking. Yeah, exactly. Just just not being bothered to search. You yeah. Know, like very lazy in that sense. Maybe not motivated. Oh, yeah, yeah. When it's not you being tortured and killed and yeah, yeah. you know, you don't really have yeah, that motivation. Exactly. So you can't really feel that same experience as animals. Tell me about your belief system. Because I don't know much about Hinduism. Do you still believe those things that you were taught? So what Hindu means is that like the flow of life basically. Freedom, like to make your own choices, you know, have your own values and are not Follow the mass, basically. You know? Not follow the masses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I like I'll this one. Masses, I'm trying to find little uh, consistent things here. Exactly. And, and so you have ahimsa, which is non-violence. Yeah, yeah. Which is non you have yeah. a follow your own way. Yeah, yeah. Not follow the masses. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, they're two good ones I like. Is Hinduism uh, karma. Yes, yes. Ooh. Whatever you do, will have the same back in return. Do you yeah. believe this? Uh, I don't believe in karma. Okay. But I believe in them. But I believe in ahimsa. Ahimsa, yeah, yeah. non-violence. Non yes. And you're probably thinking, okay, if you do believe, then why do you kill animals? Well, why do you buy oh, eat milk and eggs? How, and, how, yeah. do you, how do you contribute to it? But it does come down to those two factors that you mentioned. Yeah. You're either too lazy or you're very unmotivated. Ahimsa doesn't say uh, be non-violent except if you're lazy. No, no, no. Yeah. 
Of you know, course not. Because also, okay, let me let me say this. Also, There's a gun to your head, right? All I have to do is like move my hand over a button and push it to stop someone shooting you in the head. If I said, oh, I can't be bothered, mate. See you later. But I knew that I personally knew that all I had to do was touch that button. Yeah. Say I had to walk an extra 15 meters out of my day because that's usually how hard it is to be vegan. Yeah. 15 meters, yeah. right? And I can just walk over there, push that button. Oh, this guy's going to shoot and head you dead forever. And if I said I was too lazy, that's not really consistent with the himsa, is it? No, it's not. You're pushing the button to kill them, really, yeah. through this supply and demand chain. It's not just, it's not just killing, it's so yeah. inherent suffering in eggs and dairy. Yeah. They take the calves, they, yeah, you know, I think you know about this industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Egg industry is one of the worst industries I've ever yeah. seen in my life. Yeah. And I've been in these sheds and I've seen the murmuring and the suffering and the, the featherless birds yep. dying on their faces in the sheds in darkness. It's something out of hell. I don't know if you can imagine what it's yep. like in hell. Yep. This is like a dungeon filled with birds and even free range systems yep. are the same. Good hearted people are going to the store yep. just disconnected and paying for it. And it could be disconnect could be another reason, do you think? Because yep. you're not seeing the birds. Yeah, also down to a lack of like awareness. A lot of people don't understand until they're there. Like until they see in real life, they start to realize that, okay, I need to quit my ways because, well, this is what I'm contributing to. Yeah, I've been in the farms, right? But I quit before yeah. I'd been in the farms. Yeah. But you are aware, so you know. Maybe the average person doesn't know. You, you've got more awareness. Do you think you have more culpability, like responsibility when you know? Do you have more of a duty to act? Well, I have more of a duty to act. I do realize what happens in farms. Yeah. And then, you know, it's, it's just evil. You know, there's no sympathy, and like like at all, and it's just wrong. I, but I think people associate having meat with being a man. Being able to pass that message on to them would hurt their ego as well. Yeah, they think oh, meat is manly. It's, that's conditioning. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't make you more or less of a man with what you put in your mouth. Yeah. Masculine traits are like protecting the vulnerable, protecting the innocent, yeah. not destining them to this. Exactly, yes. You know, yeah. protecting children, protecting animals. If someone's hurting a dog, the, yeah. a physically stronger person steps in to protect. Direct action. That's vulnerable. Yeah. Yeah, they're vulnerable. So I wouldn't fall into. That trap, but Hinduism is about following your own way. Yeah. So regardless of what other men are doing, what other people think, exactly, yeah. following your own way and ahimsa, no matter what yeah. other people are doing, yeah, exactly. right? This is why I'm a yeah. vegan. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah. It's like, like that second point you mentioned. It's like you following your own way and you following your own values and create your own values. So, like, I think you mentioned they used to eat meat a lot and everything, right? Yeah. And yeah. there was a point in time where you became self-aware about your actions. That's how. Yeah, it's like a transformation. Yeah, yeah, that's how Hinduism works, basically. Yeah. It's like you're self-aware of your own actions now. Yeah. Now you've changed those values and you created your own morality and, and like now you're showcasing it like... Yeah. I'm trying to right influence way. other people. Yeah. Exactly. You so, can't create your own values if those values are inherently bad. Yeah, you can't just yeah. say, I'm a Hindu, my values are I want to kill that person and that oh, person. No, no, yeah, no. <laughs> creating your own way with a himsa. Yeah, 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 yeah true. Yeah. How are your thoughts on third world countries having meat? Do you think this message should be advocated the same way in first world countries? So third world countries are more like more likely to get further with like uh, dry food, like rice and vegetables and tofu. Um, the poorer countries usually gravitate towards the grains and the, the flowers and yeah. things like this anyway. But you're probably going to find like extraneous scenarios where people are in some survival situation or something. Obviously, I'm not over there advocating to, yeah. to them. I'm advocating to yeah. people in a yeah. situation where they do have a choice. Yeah, yeah. Um, but should animals have rights in those countries? Yes. Should animals be protected in those countries? Yes. Um, mm. Because imagine if they were in a, some kind of situation, they wanted meat and there was no animals, but there was only other people. Yeah. I still think those people should be protected from being eaten. I'm not saying animals and people are the same. I'm yeah. saying that, that animals deserve, still deserve rights because they are, they are sentient. But how do you think the rights should be given, given the condition of the third world country? Meat is a luxury food. So what are the cheapest foods in India? Well rice, you know, lentils, you know, chickpeas. So like, yeah, the cheapest foods are usually not animals. Yeah. <laughs> you got to feed animals, raise animals, contain animals. Yeah. So I just, I just don't think it's the same kind of problem in third world countries anyway. Because like, like in third world countries. Tell me the country what you're talking about. Just from it, like a general point of view. Because it depends. Well, there's different kinds of third world countries with different because access to different kinds of food and okay. some are in starvation. Okay, so you got like Uganda. I would still apply the same concept that the cheapest foods in those countries and the healthiest foods for the people yeah. will be the plant-based foods. Um, yeah. And then in t unless you're talking about some kind of survival situation where I'm not out there advocating to people yeah. in a survival situation, but even in those situations, we should give animals rights and give those people, get those people plant-based food immediately. So it'd be like a humanitarian effort uh, yeah. coupled with an animal rights effort. Yeah. But, but I'm just talking about, there's problems in the world. Oh yeah, but I'm, I'm more talking, I'm more focused on your personal accountability here. Yeah, yeah, you know, because I can't solve all the problems, you know, like not me as an activist and not you. There's wars, no, there's kids so being abused. And... Yeah, yeah, I'm a, yeah, I'm, you... I'm a consistent person, so I think animals should have rights to stop us from using, exploiting, and killing them on mass forever. But we we can't even agree animals deserve rights. Yeah.
in places where yeah. there's a lot of money and there's a lot of resources. We can't even agree here. That is true, because it's a constant debate. What I don't like is if people go, I'm not saying you're doing this, but people do this all the time. What about in a third world country? And I'm like, well, I'm just talking about us yeah. Yeah, right here where we that can. Is. Exactly. And those who can should, yeah, yeah. like morally should. You know, where there's a personal choice. Yeah, you know, where and especially those who care, yeah. who have exactly. empathy. Yeah, yeah. Because I know you wouldn't even be standing talking to me if you didn't have empathy and you didn't care. You have empathy, you know this happens to animals, you know they're sentient, you have ahimsa, yeah. and you still, like, you still use these, they're, they're, they're almost like weak excuses to do something. Oh yeah, oh, yeah they're right. You know, yeah, because there's no other industry that does this kind of thing. Oh, like yeah. that mass yeah. exploits and murders and eats no, 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 other than uh, yeah. animals for food. I have to differ. Yeah. It's a holocaust that happens to human beings, but they didn't eat victims but, of the holocaust, they buried exactly. them. Exactly. It's the equivalency of that, yes. Yeah, for animals. Yeah. I'm not saying we're equivalent beings, but... But, but like it, the way they've been treated exactly. is equivalent like, it's exactly. in, like in the world. Water. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Right. Uh, worse. Yeah. They, they serve their body parts out there in the supermarket. Oh yeah. I, no, I think... Mm -hmm. No, they, they yeah. desecrate the remains, they oh, sell yeah. the remains, and there's no respect for the remains. Oh, yeah, like, it's like I remember um, there was this, like, like, a video on YouTube, like an ox being killed, and they just shot out of the head. And I was like, God, that's when I came to my senses, like, okay, I don't want to ever try ox or anything, or, you mm. know, in general. I've seen a crazy uh, one in, I think it was India. Yeah. There was a skin on the ground, yeah. and another cow came up and started, like, desperately bellowing out. That was their friend. <laughs> It was the saddest thing I've ever seen. And that's the biggest problem, because a lot of people don't understand from a biopsychological point of view that animals don't have emotion. Animals have empathy for each other too. Uh, and, uh, they do. They're like us, mate. They're just not exactly. as intelligent. Exactly, yes. You know, um, and I think what should be pushed out within veganism is a bit more science. Science about animal sentience and that? That is the biggest thing. Yeah, that's so people realise how... Yeah. Good would that stop you? Because you know. I mean, it hasn't stopped you though, has it? That's the reason why half my diet is vegetarian and half my... Yeah. You can do better, I know you can, you're smart, you know, and you have empathy. It was a couple of years ago, I was actually vegan, but then mm. I stopped because I was losing a lot of weight, because okay. it was my kind of diet planning. Was... I've got to try a struggle not to uh, put weight on, bro. I'm big, <laughs> yeah, and I'm strong, and uh, I'm just not silly, man. I don't just eat vegetables or whatever, I eat, uh, like, I eat yeah. energy, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, to lots of tofu. Tofu's just as good as paneer. No, it is, it is. You know, and, and... I don't know if it Hinduism believe this, but don't they worship cows? Yeah, we do. Yeah. Like, is it worship or is it more respect or is it? It's more respect. More respect. We see it as a deity in a sense. Yeah. That it what gives out dairy. Milk. This is no way to treat. You know, this is no way to respect no, no, a deity. No, no. I hear what kill a cow in India. It's it's it's. Yeah, but they, what do they do? It's, it's, they don't kill them there, but they export them out. So male calves are either abandoned on the streets or they are sent for slaughter. Cows who can no longer produce milk are also abandoned on the streets or worse and most often they are transported in unbelievably horrible conditions on lorries to states where cow slaughter is legal. It's true, mate. It's true, mate. So, I agree. I agree. Yeah. I think the point I was getting across before. Is yeah. That, oh, I'm not telling you to kind of change the way you promote things. Okay. But I personally believe the most effective way to make veganism more effective is, is to push out Sorry. the the science side of emotion. If something bad happens to a person, we feel it. Exactly. And the same with uh, pigs and cows the and chickens. chemical response yeah. happens. And if they see something happen to one of their friends, exactly. boom, they're gonna, is that going to happen to me? Oh my God, that's... Yeah, exactly. it's the and same. That's the analogy yeah. people don't understand, is that yeah. very analogy. Once you put it into a real-life point of view, that's when people start like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Like the moment I realised that, that's when I started to change up things a little mm. bit. Because that's not what, what I want animals to feel. No, that's not one contributing to. Mm. So what are you going to do when you leave? Uh, try to reform my diet. It's really good talking to you, brother. What's your name? Uh, Jay. Jay? Yeah, yeah. It's the nice Jay talking to you, bro. Sorry. You know what you're talking about. This is No one can force you to do anything. This is all in here. The only person who knows what you do is you. Yeah. And that's you have a conscience, you have your own your own way, you know, and you have a ahimsa. And I control myself. So no one can stop me from eating meat right now. Yeah. I do it because I know it's the right thing to do. And I know that they don't deserve that. And I don't want to be the oppressor to them. I do really appreciate the work you do, mate. And I just hope it goes incredibly well in the future, mate. Thank you, brother. So, yeah. Take care, Jay. Take care. Good talking to you, mate.